This is a tutorial on how to deal with large sets of data, how to import them into Excel, uh, do some manipulation and analysis, and then export them into another text file or data file that you might be able to use in another program. So what I have here is a data file. Now what I'm going to do is open this up just with a, uh, you know, notepad, um, a notepad file. Now notepad, it will just show the text only. It won't show any formatting. Um, and so there I have just columns of numbers that are separated with commas, okay? Um, and you can see, um, you know, that uh, there, if I scroll down here, it's a fairly large uh, set of data. Okay, so um, what I want to do is import this into Excel. One, one thing I can do is just take this, um, if I am showing the extensions on those files, if I'm not hiding those in Windows, I can just rename this as a CSV file, that's comma separated value file. It says do I want to change it? Yes. And then it, it, you can see Excel is going to uh, be able to uh, open this up automatically. Okay, so when Excel opens, it's just going to have all of the data in the different columns. And uh, I actually want to show you how to do this, um, you know, with the text file instead. Um, and so let me just uh, open up Excel, and I'm going to open up a blank workbook. And then what we want to do is select data. You know, we can import data, so for example, from a database, from the web. In this case, we're going to import it from a text file. Okay, and then once we open up the, this dialog box, we can select our data file. And then I'm going to select import, and uh, then it gives me a dialog box on how to import this. So in this case, I can select either delimited, so there's characters like commas or tabs that separate each field, or fixed width. Uh, fixed width is um, if I want to, for example, um, indicate, or it'll try to guess for you where the breaks are. Um, I don't want to do that in this case. I have commas that are doing that for me. And so I do delimited. Um, I'm going to deselect tab. I don't want tabs to delimit this. Uh, I actually have commas, and it'll show you where the breaks are with those solid black lines that are drawn there in the columns. Um, so I'm going to click next. Um, you know, there's the formatting, and then I'm going to click finish. Um, where do I want to insert this? I'm actually going to insert it, um, you know, one row down in A2 just because I want a header. Okay, so it's going to insert it there, and then I'm going to put time, and then sensor one, and sensor uh, two, and then let me let me go and drag this over to get all the way up to sensor eight. Now you can see I had sensors um, six, seven, and eight. I can't see those right now, so I'm going to select all of my columns and then double click on the one of the intermediate, the spacing between the two columns, and that's going to resize my columns for me. Um, I'm going to just select six, five, six, seven, and eight, and just delete those. Those are uh, not a number. Okay, so um, let's say I want to do some analysis now. So for example, I want to take the average um, of all of these uh, sensors, and then I would do the formula average and then select the data row that I want to average. And one thing I can do is this little box right down here in the bottom right. If I double click that when the plus appears, okay, this little black plus, then it's going to fill down. Um, and so you can see that it just took the average of each row of the sensors. Okay, so now um, let's say I want to uh, do a plot of you know, time, sensor two, and maybe the average. Okay, so um, I, I'm going to select this column. I'm going to hold the control key down. Okay, the control key, and while holding the control key down, I'm going to select column C, and then column F as well. Okay, and then I'm going to select insert. In this case, I come over here to the charts. This one, and I like to use the uh, the scatter chart for uh, you know displaying time um, time data um, you know data that changes with time um, and let me just go ahead and select the uh, smooth lines option here um, you can see it uh, 
there is the average in orange and then the sensor 2 is in blue I'm going to change the scale just a little bit on this um, double click on the y-axis and then uh, change that between let's say 320 okay and uh, then change it to 460 automatically so there I can see the average and the sensor 2 uh, just a little bit better there Okay, so um, we've imported the data into Excel. We maybe did a calculation or two, trended that, um, trended those values. I'm just going to select, uh, you know, delete that chart. And uh, now let's say we want to export the data again into a text file. Um, one thing to keep in mind is when you export into a data file, it's only going to preserve the number of digits that you see. So for example, if I select this, there's a lot, uh, there's quite a few more digits that I can't see. And so what I want to do is, is maybe increase um, the resolution that's being displayed here. So I'm going to hold my control, shift, and then down. Okay. And then I want to, um, this controls the number of, of digits that you can see. Okay, so I'm going to increase that. I'm going to shift it. Okay, so I'm going to preserve all of those digits that are there. Now you can you're going to start seeing zeros um, as I continue to increase that when you've reached the limit of uh, the number of digits that are are stored there. Okay, so there I've increased the number of digits, and then what I want to do is come to File and then in this case I'm going to save as and I'm going to save it on my computer and let me just save it back to the desktop okay now I can save it as an Excel workbook that's going to have all the formatting of Excel in there I just want to save this as a data file in this case so I'm going to do a, a comma delimited again there were some other comma delimited ones that you can do Macintosh or MS-DOS, those are just carriage returns that um, I, I like to use uh, CSV, I use that quite often um, I just recommend this uh, CSV file you can also do like for example a text file tab delimited uh, I'm, I'm just going to select CSV here, we're going to name it book1.csv and click save it's going to warn you, it's going to try to keep it in Excel format so some features might be lost if you save it in a CSV. Uh, do you want to continue? I'm just going to go ahead and click yes. Um, and then let's um, go ahead and close this. Even though you saved it already, um, it'll ask you again if you want to save it. I'm just going to click don't save. Okay, so it's already been saved when I exported it. I don't didn't need to save it again. Um, so what I'm going to do now is just, uh, just open this up with a a text editor okay and then you can see I have my time sensor one okay so th and then my average okay so um, that is how to import data into Excel um, you know from a text file be able to do some calculations uh, generate a trend or a plot and then be able to export it